Before we get into the nitty gritty and powerful stuff that you can do with Active, uh, ActiveX controls on a worksheet, which are amazing, I want to show you why I prefer ActiveX controls to Forms controls. Let's go to the Developer tab that we established in Chapter 1. We're going to click on the Insert button. So you can see that there are Form controls on the top, and then there are the nice ActiveX controls, which have much more options on the bottom. So I'm going to just do a comparison video here. I'm going to place a button here. Uh, don't have a macro I want to assign to that. And then that was a form button. Let's do an ActiveX button. So I'm going to do it right next door to this guy here. So on the surface, they look almost identical. This one here, let's see, you can edit the text by clicking on it. This one you cannot. Um, you'd have to go into properties. But here's the form. Okay, so you right click. Are there any properties windows? No, there's really just edit text or assign a macro. Let's click on that. Let's see. No, I don't have any macros I want to assign. Uh, format control, great. That's basically just your font stuff and a few properties about this, the margins and it's all about the font. It's boring. Okay, it's a boring button. If you go over here to the nice, lovely uh, ActiveX control button, right click in properties, you'll see all, all kinds of settings. You've got uh, auto size is false. You've got the name of the control that you can that you can mess with. You can get really uh, carried away with the font characteristics, of course. But you have a four color and a back color. So this gray, I don't want it to be this gray. I want it to go to the palette here, and I want to make it a bright, gaudy green button, okay? And then um, the caption, you know, this is where you change what it says right there. But, you know, you can do all kinds of things. You can even change the mouse pointer, okay? This is your default. Let's go down here. Let's see. Uh, uh, hourglass. I want the hourglass. Great. So I take it off design mode. And now look at this, the hourglass. I hover over and it does something funky right there. So there's just a lot of control that you can have over this. I'll change it back to default. I just want to show you that um, you can put a picture. If you double click here, if you click right there, you can actually make your background of your button a photo. You don't even have to have a label. Maybe you just want it a nice photo button, whatever. Uh, print object, that's whether it comes out in the print or not. Anyway. There's a lot of options just in right clicking and going to properties. The best part though, you can right click and go to view code. Um, and you, or you can just double click like I do. I double click on the button and then you're in that worksheets, uh, um, module right, not module, that worksheets container right here. And within that sheet, you have command button one underscore click. Now if you had renamed the name of it, it might say BTN uh, number one or whatever you renamed it to underscore click but anyway this is a click event just like you just saw the events for worksheet uh, events this is the same deal you have a click event but guess what there's a lot more you can do you've got um, a click you've got a double click event you got whenever the button uh, gets focus whenever a certain key or key combinations are pressed uh, whenever key is released, mouse overs. So if you hover your mouse over it, it will trigger certain macros. Um, or when it's uh, whenever it's clicked, but your mouse is released on it, and whether or not you know maybe certain keyboard combinations are held while the mouse is in certain positions. So there's so many more options that you can do. It's quite amazing.